contributions made by members as part of my own contributions too. But it's just that uh, when we still have something to add, we, we know that this motion is very critical because it drives at the root of the fundamental objective of, of government, and that is the issue of security. We are all aware of the danger of kidnappings to the life of our people and the life of this country. It has become a phenomenon across the country. It is no longer southeast, no longer southwest, no longer north central or northwest. It is already a Nigerian issue, and it is very unfortunate that it is like that. It started gradually, it started gradually, but um, it's like the security agencies were handling it with levity, and today it's a full-blown problem after the insurgency in this country. Much as it is a national issue, we, we may have to look at some areas where they are more serious. Koji State, where I come from, of recent, has been identified as the most notorious state for kidnapping. And I must tell you that if you are journeying down through Koji, which is a transit state, any route after the state capital, you have to be very, very careful. Any route after the state capital, I repeat, is very, you have to be very careful. And it is still like that. Mr. Speaker, it is happening every day, but it is not being mentioned, just like most of us observed, that until big names are involved, before the conscience of the nation is called to attention. But to the common man, it is happening. The middle class, every day they are being kidnapped. Farmers, women, children, and what have you. But again, from the experiences of those that, kidnapped, that were kidnapped, we discover that most often these kidnappers are not Nigerians. Some of them are foreigners from their behavior, their language, and their conduct. And I've even come to a certain conclusion that some of them might be agent of the insurgency we have experienced Order, please. in the Northeast. Silence, please. I recall a brother who was Order, honorable members. When he was about to be released, he said the kidnappers told him, we know you, you people are doing politics. We don't want Buhari again. Don't elect him again. We don't like Buhari. So you can see from such statements that there is political undertone to the whole thing. And I believe that these criminal elements are part of the insurgency that we are facing in the Nazis. It's a process of raising money to support the insurgency. I'm saying this because it is necessary for security agents to know that it is just not criminal Nigerians that are looking for money to spend. There is more to it. And that even explains what is happening in the case of this uh, so-called uh, uh, farmer, what do you call them, um, headsmen. I also believe they are all part of the whole thing. So the need for a coordinated effort by the security agencies cannot be overemphasized. And that is why this motion is very timely. I need the support of everybody. My own name is given is the second prayer in the uh, motion that seeks the committee of uh, uh, the House Committee on Compliance to report back in three weeks. I don't know if we are giving the government a time frame for them to act. If not, I think that second prayer may not be necessary. Mr. Speaker, that's my submission. Thank you, sir.